Let's begin by selecting Add a New Creation. And we'll change our physics mode to Platform. And let's select a grass texture for the fill. And I'm just going to draw out some grass here. And because we're on Platform Physics, that ground will stay in place. Now let's create a bug. I'll change to a red fill color. And using the Circle tool, and free physics so that the circle actually falls. I'll draw out a bug. We can also pause the simulation so that the bug stays in place. If I select that and then edit inside we can add some detail. I'm going to start by selecting a black fill color and adding some spots to our bug. And let's change to the pen tool and we'll put a little head on the bug and using the circle tool with a white fill color we can draw out a couple of eyes here okay now let's use the joint tool to join our bug to the ground we'll switch to the joint tool and if we click in the center of the bug and then on the ground, by default the joint is a wheel joint, so it'll spin around in circles, but let's create a slider joint, and we can have the bug move either left to right in relation to its rotation, or up and down. Let's make it go left to right. I'll bring it all the way to the left here and set the min, and bring it over to the right and set the max. And if we add some motor speed to this, the slider will move the object back and forth continuously. So if we select OK and then play the simulation, we can see the bug going back and forth. Let's copy the bug. If we select the uh, pen or pencil tool and select it, we can do a copy. I'm going to make a couple of copies. And we'll move one bug over here and one over here. And let's add slider joints to these bugs. I'll Click between this bug and the ground, and let's make this a slider joint which goes uh, left to right. We'll make it go out to here, and then over to here, and we'll give it a motor speed. And let's also put a joint between this bug and the ground. And for this, we'll keep it as a wheel joint and make it spin around. And if we play simulation, Okay, so we have our bugs animating back and forth. Now let's add our interactivity to this to make a little mini game. To do that, let's select mini game, setup, and this is the behavior designer. First, we have to select what's going to trigger or cause the behavior to happen. In this case, I want these bugs to be destroyed by tapping on them. So for the trigger, I'm going to select the object tapped trigger. And then I select the objects. And I want this trigger to fire when the object is tapped. The other choice is to have it fire continuously while the object is held. But this is what we want for the default. We'll select Save. And the behavior we want to occur when the object is tapped is to destroy the object. So we'll select that behavior. We want the object from the tap trigger to be used as the target of the destroy. So we'll use the default here. And for a destroy effect, let's have fragments. You can either do a smoke cloud or you can have uh, the object kind of explode into fragments. We want this to happen regardless of any damage that might have occurred with the object if it got bounced around or anything. And we want to play a sound. Let's do a monster sound. And we save that. And since we selected both a trigger and a behavior, you can see the result is now in our list of behaviors here. Let's do one more trigger. Let's do an end game behavior when all of our bugs are destroyed. So we'll select the object destroyed trigger. And we'll select our three bugs. When all three of these objects are destroyed, this trigger will occur. We'll save that. And for the behavior, we want to end the game. In this case, it's a successful end of the game because all of the bugs are destroyed. 
and we'll delay the end of game message for one second after the last destroyed bug and let's play a little victory sound we'll do some applause so we save that you can see we have two behaviors here and let's save our creation and we'll say squish the bugs for a title tap on the bugs to destroy them and if we play the game now we can test it out if we tap on a bug tap on a bug and the last guy and we won the game so that is the basics of creating a game in Fizzmajig with interactivity